Melanie Hines is a false prophet for profit. In this video, I'm going to expose the inner workings of her elaborate money-making scheme that preys on people of faith. She ropes you into numerous scams by spreading false hopes, baseless rumors, and crazy conspiracies, often in the name of God. She constantly claims to be some sort of financial genius, but basically everything she's ever said has been wrong. So get ready to be both infuriated and entertained by the sometimes malicious and often ridiculous things that come out of Melanie's mouth. Let's start with three examples of why you absolutely cannot trust anything that Melanie says. This is the kind of person that she is. She claims to be a woman of faith. Because see, I, I read this a lot. This is, this is my instruction book. Now let's see how well she follows the Bible's instructions. I went into the bank because I needed to withdraw some cash. And so he's counting out the money and he counted out way too much. And what did this devout woman of faith do? Something missing in that bank story. You have to give the extra money back. No, I don't. No, I don't. Are you kidding me? Please tell us you did the right thing. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. And I'm not going to. And when God gives me a blessing, I take it in Jesus' name. Wow. Wow. So the Bible is your instruction book. And one of the Ten Commandments tells you not to steal. But not only did you steal, you claim that you did it in the name of Jesus. Another thing she tells constantly is how she was such a successful businesswoman. The next day, one of my accounting clients, because I was doing that from home, because I gifted in that area, I love business. Everything I touch will prosper and succeed. Really? Then why did this happen? I, my, both of my business suffered. So you're gifted in business and everything you touch will prosper and succeed, but yet both your businesses suffered? Seems a little contradictory, no? There's a lot of hypocrisy in our world today. Yes, there is. And I've got one more example before we move on. Here, you'll see how she tries to rope in the right-wing anti-government crowd. But if you're paying attention, you can see that she gets caught up in her own lie. I don't even know if she believes any of the stuff she's saying. But if they go back to a gold standard, that's good. Because if they go back to a gold standard, then it's not variable anymore. It doesn't just, they can't just print it like ad nauseum like they've been doing. Okay, so gold standard, never gonna happen. I did a video on that. But the point here is that she's pandering to those that lean right, by showing her frustration about all the money printing. Yet just four days earlier, she said, Evidently they're talking about another round of stimulus, so that's good news. Okay, so you hate when the Fed prints money, but you like the extra stimulus payments. Melanie, where do you think that stimulus came from? The magic money tree? No, the Fed printed money to pay for it. Now, if you still aren't convinced that you can't trust anything that comes out of Melanie's mouth, wait until you hear some of her investment predictions. I have never seen anyone that was both so overconfident and so consistently wrong at the same time. And I have perfect timing with everything. Hmm, so if that's true, then why did she say this in December, 2021? For those of us invested in the foreign currencies, we are still waiting. I've been waiting personally nine years, so I can wait another week or so. Hmm, that doesn't sound like perfect timing to me. And by the way, that was two years ago. So I guess now she's been waiting for 11 years. But hey, don't let the facts get in the way of a good story, right? I'm a financial, Genius. Oh yeah? Well, what should we be investing in, Miss Financial Genius? They're called cryptocurrencies, but they're crypto assets. The best play is to hold them and then borrow against them. Oh, wow. So not only should you buy cryptocurrencies, but you should also take out loans against them. Honestly, I don't think I've ever heard a better plan for how to go bankrupt. But she claims to be a financial genius, so we can trust her, right? I don't say anything unless I'm assured that it's gonna happen. Okay, Melanie, so what were you sure was gonna happen in the crypto market? Uh, Shiba Inu is climbing crazily. Um, it's leveled off a little bit, but it's gonna go sky high. It's, it's headed for a penny, I'd say in the next year or two. Well, she's a financial genius who doesn't say anything unless she's sure it's gonna happen. So it must've gone up to a penny, right? Not exactly. She said that on October 20th, 2021, one week from the all time high, right before it dropped 90% over the next few months. So after the crypto hype died down, she started to focus more on the Iraqi dinar scam. I don't think she cares, honestly. For her, it's all about making money. Now to keep people coming back to watch her channel, she follows the standard dinar scammer playbook by constantly telling people they're about to get rich overnight. No surprise, she's wrong every time. In February, 2022, she said, Not only is it looking good for this week for the RV and GCR. Then two months later in April, 2022, she said, I believe it's our RV weekend. June, 2022. 
on the RV front, still hearing very positive things for today and tomorrow. There is no negative news coming out of Iraq. Wow, nothing negative in the entire country. That sounds plausible. September 2022. But guys, we are so close to this this uh, revaluation. Hmm. Where have I heard that before? February 2023. When it reinstates to Forex, we're golden, guys. That's what we've been waiting for. That is a magic ticket. I can only think due to the rest of the news that they are now targeting maybe June. And did the Iraqi dinar go up over 500,000% by June to become worth four times as much as the dollar? Of course not. In the same video, she also said, The latest chatter I'm hearing us, Nassara and Jassara will be in full swing on March 1st. And did Nassara and Jassara kick in by March 1st? No because those are insane conspiracy theories. More on those in a couple minutes, and it's hilarious. So I promise, you won't wanna miss it. In August, 2023, she said, Don't forget family, they have already said the official rate of 1132 a leak weeks ago. And did it go to a rate of 1132? No, still 1300. Then last month, November, 2023, she said, It's an automatic increase in value of the Iraqi dinar. I just think it's done. God told me it was done. But of course it's not done. And when she's not claiming that God told her the dinar was gonna revalue, she cites reasons that don't make a shred of sense if you understand basic economics. It is mathematically impossible to do all the things they wanna do within this budget until and unless they drop the zeros. It's true that their budget is unsustainable. It's false that that means their currency will revalue. Think about any company or person you've ever known. Have you ever heard of an unsustainable budget being a good thing? Have you ever known anyone that could just magically make their currency 3,000 times more valuable so they could pay off all their debts? Of course not. So then why would you think Iraq could do that? Now, if that was possible, why would any country ever default on their debt? Why wouldn't they just all magically revalue their currencies? Oh yeah, because they can't. Because it's impossible. So she's definitely not an expert herself. But is she at least giving you reliable information from reputable sources? Check out who her sources are and you can decide. So this is uh, Newshound Guru Claire. And then this is Newshound Intel Guru Mountain Goat. I think it's his daughter that's that's picking this up for him. And then um, Smart Hammy. I don't know who this is, but they texted it to me. So I'm going to I'm going to share it with you. A friend of mine with special connections had an important meeting last night and I've been given permission to share a couple of highlights from their discussion. But I can't share who the information came from. And then by Oki via Twitter, not Oki Oilman, of course. So let me get into Mr. Sandman's intel. He's my unique source. I'm the only one who has it. Uh, Kim Clement is a prophet and he mentioned the dinar in one of his sermons. If she's listening to people like that, it's no wonder she believes some crazy stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments. Does this sound like a sane person that you should be getting your investment insight from? I am a tuned instrument created by God, and that's why I can hear from him. He's taught me, I, I had a background in meditation. Evidently, Mr. T did the rounds when he cut off the heads of the, of the Phoenician families in the very beginning of his uh, term. He went around and got all these countries to agree. I think there's like 120 countries that agreed to this just sorrow, which is a global economics Stability and Recovery Act, something like that. Basically, they help you get out of debt. They pay off your debts, debt of one home, all your consumer debt, credit card debt. And they've done that because they've seized the assets of the crooks and the crooked people that have enslaved us. Basically, that's the gist of it. I know too much. I know way too much for my own flipping sanity at this point. Yep, but don't worry, there's more. Black hats own the media companies uh, rig elections. They do a lot of nefarious stuff. You really don't want to know who these people are and that they're being controlled by these 13 families uh, that are behind the scenes. These high profile people are just their minions doing their work. Black hats, unbeknownst to any of us, took our country and made it a corporation. Like maybe I was chosen as part of their test group. Right? I was aware when the quantum financial system came online last summer. There's also, if they do the gold standard thing, they may be doing a global currency revaluation. And because of that, this is why the good Lord, he is good always, led me to invest in foreign currencies. Because the dinar is actually in the Bible. Interesting, because Iraq only became a country in 1932. And I could have sworn the Bible was written long before that. Well, since Melanie gives such great financial advice, how about some medical advice to go along with it? Go on feeling bad and giving your money to the medical care system that's trying to kill you. <laughs> I'm just saying, they're not trying to save your life. Hmm. 
Might want to fact check that one. But then again, I'm not sure Melanie has ever fact checked anything. Even if they give you a list that says they do not exchange the dinar or the dong, they lie. Okay, so if you walk into a bank and ask if they exchange the Iraqi dinar, they'll say no. But it's not because they don't offer that service. It's because they're lying. Why would they do that? Do you think they don't want your business? I bet if you ask them to make you a cheeseburger, they'd also say no. It doesn't mean they're lying. If they say they don't do it, they don't do it, right? How are you supposed to get them to do something that they say they don't do? Use my ninja strategies. What? Your ninja strategies? So wait, I'm still confused. Why would the banks lie and say they don't exchange the dinar? They want you to have fear, uncertainty, and doubt and divest yourself of it. Okay, let me get this straight. The banks say they don't exchange Iraqi dinars because they want you to divest, aka exchange your Iraqi dinars. I stand corrected. Maybe it will take some crazy ninja mind tricks to figure out that logic. So here's where every aspect of Melanie's channel comes together. The conspiracies, the claims about God, the fake news and false promises about the dinar, the constant claims about how much of a financial genius she is, it all comes down to one thing, making money. All aspects of Melanie's channel are designed to make money off of you. And her main method is MLMs. If you haven't heard of these, an MLM or multi-level marketing scheme is basically a pyramid scheme that uses a loophole in the legal system to avoid prosecution. In a pyramid scheme, you can only make money by recruiting other people. In a multi-level marketing scheme, you just make almost all your money by recruiting other people. But you can also technically make some money by selling products. Watch how basically everything she does is a ploy to make money. One of her most common tricks is to use God to pray on people of faith. God directed me to have the community fast. You can do Relive if you have the Relive products. If not, you could order the Relive products to help you get through your fast. So let's break this down. She said God told her to have her followers fast. So you better do it if you're a person of faith. And oh, by the way, these products I'm selling will help you. The entire fast is just a ploy to push your products. Next, you'll see how she uses the lies and false hopes about the Iraqi dinar to trick people out of huge sums of money. I'll do a personal call with you, me and you, to answer any of your final questions before this thing goes. It's probably a good idea to do that. Uh, 15 minutes is 37 dollars, but I really recommend the half an hour for 77. Super spiritual number, God promises you a hundredfold, so you can't lose. Oh wow, so if I pay you $140 an hour to tell me mythical stories about the dinar, I'm going to make 100 times my money and I can't lose. And of course, she brings God into this one too. And by the way, quick sidebar, my math brain can't let this go. 15 minutes is $37 and 30 minutes is $77. Why wouldn't someone just book two 15 minute sessions for $74? Either she's too dumb to figure this out or she's trying to prey on people who are. I'm guessing the latter, but neither option is good. And here's where the MLM pitches come in her number one money maker. I'm in the direct sales industry. Direct sales, that's pretty much code for multi-level marketing. And how is she done with these schemes? Literally my husband and I can buy whatever we want. We're looking at buying a house in the Keys. Hmm, so it begs the question why she needs to charge you $77 for a half hour of her time. If she was really a person of faith who just wanted to help people, would she really be charging you so much? MLMs are all about recruiting people. That's how they make their money. Watch her bait people in with lofty, unrealistic promises of how much money they can make. It took about four years to become a leader in that company, be one of the top 2% of the company. And then I was still taking the actions that would get me to $12 million a year. If you want to do this though, you'll have to connect with me at some point. If you want to do this to earn income. I built a $5 million business in this industry and I will do it again. So she says you can make millions of dollars per year, but you have to contact her to find out how. How is through joining one of her MLM schemes. And the one she was promoting here, their own website, said that 99% of people make an average of $2 a year. No mention of that, of course, because she just doesn't care. She just needs to recruit as many people as possible so she can make millions. And if everyone else that she gets involved loses money, so be it. Here's another one. Watch how she uses high pressure sales techniques to loop you in. So many people are responding about my new thing right now. They see what's happening. We all do, don't you? Right? So you might want to consider something new. And for that, you'd have to email me. And again, got to be quick. It's growing fast. Everyone sees it, don't you? If you don't want to be left out, you have to email me and fast. But wait, it gets better. In my last new thing, which was in 2018 before COVID hit, I sponsored, I don't know, like 60 people in 90 days. 60 people in 90 days? No wonder she makes so much money off of these MLMs. Do you think you could get 60 people to sign up for this shady organization in 90 days? Probably not because there's usually an upfront cost to join and 99% of people don't make money. So it might not go as well for you as she's implying. Now, of course, she tries to pressure you into signing up quickly so you don't have any time to think about it. This new thing, I've been in two weeks, 
and it's already so I don't think you have 90 days. So what kind of products is she selling with these MLMs? Because I'm going to share with you how easy my side gig is. Okay. This is what my side gig is based on. It's unique product that nobody else has. It's a homeopathic gel. Again, it's easy. What are the benefits? I mean, I've seen increased energy. I've seen better ability to build muscle. I've seen more youthful looking skin, thicker hair, thicker nails. Wow. So no one else has this product and the benefits are everything. It's an anti-aging product. It's got a little bit of homeopathic HGH. If you've ever heard of HGH, it has all the benefits of HGH without any of the side effects of HGH. Okay. So HGH is an anabolic steroid called human growth hormone. It's very much illegal to sell it without a prescription. But I'm a very strong individual and I have a low body fat percentage because of this, right? Uh, not because of a lot of hard work. So yes, she's basically saying she's selling steroids. The product is called Somaderm and it will set you back $200 per bottle. Luckily for her, she wasn't selling steroids, just snake oil. Like a lot of MLMs, Somaderm from New You Life was basically fake. In 2019, the Better Business Bureau found that they couldn't provide any evidence to support their health claims. Then the FDA tested their products and found they actually didn't contain any HGH, just pure false advertising. The FDA also came down on New You Life for their false claims that Somaderm was FDA registered, which it was not. Truth in Advertising and the Better Business Bureau issued many warnings in 2019 and 2020 about the company's false advertising. And when did Melanie make the video with those same claims in it? 2021. She does not care. It's all about making money. Here's one final clip that breaks down her basic process into three steps. Step one, false claim and establish credibility and gets you to trust whatever she's about to say. Usually this involves either God, a statement about how smart or successful she is, or how exclusive her source is. Step two, false claim about something she's promoting, which is designed to get you to do something that will make her money. And step three is the ask or the close for whatever she wants you to do. Let's take a look at the process in action. So always try to find the proof that the information we received is, is, is correct using official articles, which is what I bring her Sandman. I'm gonna go and just read you the last official article that's out of Iraq that comes first through Mr. Sandman to my channel. I'm the only one that has it. So you wanna subscribe, tap the bell. So let's break it down into the three steps. First, she says you always wanna verify your sources. I agree. So she sounds credible after she says that. Now, who would tell you that you should always verify your sources and then quote a source that you can't verify? Melanie Wood. After your guard is down, she shares an official article that somehow no one has but her, which presumably would mean it hasn't been published and isn't that official. And she got this article from a mythical source named Sandman that you definitely can't verify. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, she's only gonna read it to you, not show it to you. Yeah, that sounds real official. And then the ask. Like and subscribe so I can make more money when you watch my channel, so I can book you for more expensive phone sessions, so I can charge you for more portfolio reviews to hear my terrible investment advice and sign you up for more of my MLMs where you'll definitely waste your time and lose your money. Melanie, you've officially been exposed. If you like this video, I've also done videos on Frank26, Mark Z, Militia Man, Pimpy, and Nader. You can find them below in my Iraqi Dinar playlist. The link is in the description. And for more investment insight, you can also join my free Discord. That link is also below in the description. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for my next video where I'll compare investment returns of the S&P 500 to the Iraqi Dinar.